Okay, guys, so the reality is nobody really wants to go back to school for the school aspect, you know? Like, none of us really want to do that, but we have to, you know? And we got to prepare. I mean, I know some people don't prepare, but I do. So I'm going to help you guys do this. So the first thing that I'm going to tell you right now that is going to help you just sit down and get all this stuff done, it is cleaning your room and getting yourself together. So like you need to get your life together before you can start to think about other things like school. You need to do that. Do that first. And right now, I am a mess. My room is a mess, my calendar is hectic, and it is making me feel anxious, okay? I'm gonna be real with you guys. I did kind of dress up because when I'm dressed up, I feel like I got myself together, you know? Like, I can do things. So today, my outfit is very random. Does it make sense? No. But I feel like I'm business on top, casual on the bottom. I still feel like I got my together because I got my makeup done and I got my earrings on. My room, though, a different story. We're going to be completely transparent. It is a mess. This is a situation that I don't want to think about. We just got to tackle it. We can't think about it. Let's just tackle it, okay? So my dust space is now clean and ready, ready for action. We're gonna make a coffee quick so that we feel more motivated. I know you guys are like, oh, Brie, just get to the good stuff, blah, 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 you know? In reality, we need to check ourselves quick, okay? While we wait for the caffeine to kick, just give yourself some positive affirmations. Like, I can do this. School doesn't suck. I miss school. This is doable for me. And lastly, I am fully capable of kicking some ass. Just, just take that all in for a second. Take a couple more sips of your coffee. Okay, first thing, make a list. At this point, I hope you guys know what classes you're taking already. Now, what do we have to do? Get our textbooks, update calendar, check our email. Why, Brie? Why should we check our email? Because I bet you your professors are emailing you. If they're not, they're gonna be. So keep checking your email if you haven't. Textbooks, update calendar, check email. And then we're gonna set up like our materials and stuff. Let's just dive in. Okay, so at this point, I urge you to go to your school website and find your textbooks. Okay, so it looks like they're all required. If I was in a different college, I would then go to Chegg and I would search for my textbooks here and I would also go to Amazon Student. You can rent textbooks off of Amazon. I would say textbooks. And then I would list like class A, class B, class C, and like all the textbooks that I need and how much they are on each site. So then I can total them up and see what the cheapest options are. I need to print out my school schedule for my boss so he can create a schedule for the weeks to come. So I got that figured out. I've definitely mentioned this in my other productivity video, but I will always, always, always put my school schedule in my Apple calendar. That is because when I make appointments and stuff like that, I can just reference my Apple calendar. And then I have my Google calendar, completely different things. That is where I put like all my appointments, assignments, Zoom links, everything like that, just so I have that in there. But I should know my schedule well enough and that 
mean time so I don't schedule things at the same time but if I just added my school schedule to it I think it would just be too busy so that's why I use my Apple Calendar for that let's add our school schedule to our Apple Calendar This is what my calendar looks like so far. My classes aren't in person, but if they were, I would add what building they were in. Just because Apple is really cool and they'll send how long it'll take for you to get there for that day, which is super convenient, especially as a college student who's usually running late. Before I even touch my Google Cal, I have my old classes in there right now. I'm gonna go ahead and delete these. What colors do I make each class? So this is what I ended up going with. And now that I've done those things, I am going to check my email. And I know for a fact that I've gotten two emails. I already see like required action. This is really good to just get through here and see some important dates and put that in my calendar. Is about 4 22 right now we're going on like two hours strong anyways i am so glad that i checked my email because i have about three assignments due on the first day for one of my classes and we have an essay due the week after the first week of school so i really need to get on this before i look at the canvas sites i'm going to organize my notebooks and such and you guys already know that I use my iPad. Since I last showed you, my system has kind of changed based on what went on by the end of the semester. So what I ended up doing by the end of the semester is I would have different folders for each of my class instead of just one notebook. And that is because for each test, I would have a different notebook. So this was the first test and this was the second test and we didn't have a final exam in marketing. And then like supply chain, I had a lot. And then I had an assignments folder within that folder. By the end of the content for one exam, I already had like 24 pages or something like that. And then I'll have all my study guides in one section. So I'll do the same thing again. I also want to talk about quick if I didn't have an iPad how would I be doing this organizing everything prior to school what I used to use was I would have a binder I would group a few classes that I think that loose leaf paper would work best for for example like accounting when you have assignments and stuff it's super easy when you have a binder to just move things around and sometimes my class notes were super messy and when I used to have time to rewrite them I would like to rewrite them and just stick them in there. Notebooks aren't as flexible and I kind of don't like that, but for the classes that you don't really need to take as many notes, I would use a notebook or something. But in the end, what I would kind of use was just Word, especially for my science classes. It was super nice to be able to control F and see like what a specific term meant or whatever. So the only thing about that though is that it's better for retaining information if you write something down. When you have a study guide or something like that and you're using online notes, it's best to just write it down for a study guide and then maybe type it up later. I know we're kind of getting ahead of ourselves as we haven't even started the school year, but it's just something you should really consider right now before you even start. We're all gonna get A's. We're manifesting it. My last tip, I know we're already at the end, guys. It wasn't that hard, was it? It wasn't that bad. The last thing that I suggest is going through your Canvas sites and writing down all of the important dates immediately. Immediately. You don't want to be that person that's like, when's the exam again? No, you're going to have it in your calendar. I only have three classes in my Canvas site right now, so I think I'm just going to do those three and be done. that's it for this video please make sure to like and subscribe i love you always bye